The world is mourning the passing of Queen Elizabeth II. We have breaking news from the United Kingdom, where we have just sad news that Queen Elizabeth II, the longest serving British monarch, died today at Balmoral Castle. TV networks across the globe interrupted programming to announce the sad news. Inside Edition digital reporter T.C. Newman was reporting outside at the very moment the news broke. You could definitely notice a hush come across the crowd as the flag started to lower on the top of Buckingham Palace. A bulletin was posted at the gates of the palace. It reads, the queen died peacefully at Balmoral this afternoon. Prince Charles now and becomes King Charles priority. III. His it's first message as monarch said, economy. the death of my beloved mother, Her Majesty the Queen, is a moment of the greatest sadness for me and all members of my family. tearful crowd outside the palace broke into God Save the King anthem for the first time. God save the king. Charlie Langston, female editor of DailyMail.com. Everyone in the UK and around the world is going to be absolutely devastated and heartbroken. This is a woman who, yes, was the monarch for 70 years, but she was also an integral part of so many people's lives for so long. The Queen's health deteriorated rapidly during the day. Jenna Bush Hager was moments from interviewing Prince Charles's wife Camilla for the Today Show when they suddenly canceled. We were about to sit down with Her Royal Highness um, to discuss some of her initiatives. We were just told that they have rushed off to Balmoral. This is the moment Britain's new Prime Minister Liz Truss was passed a note in Parliament telling her of the Queen's health crisis. The Queen appeared frail but in good spirits when she appointed the new Prime Minister Monday. But look, you can see a large dark discoloration covering the back of her hand. Prince William and other family members rushed to be at the Queen's side, speeding through the gates of Balmoral. They arrived in time to say their final goodbyes. <laughs> Prince Harry, who happened to be in London, put his feud aside to be with the Queen. But he arrived 15 minutes too late. She was already gone. Meghan was not with him. William's wife, Kate, who just earlier this week escorted her kids to the first day of school, was also not there. The urgency was real. The Queen's historic reign was drawing to a close. The Prime Minister, dressed in black, made the somber announcement. With the passing of the second Elizabethan age, we usher in a new era in the magnificent history of our great country, exactly as Her Majesty would have wished by saying the words, God save the king.